Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff of Jeff Opens Cards. Today I've got not a Splinterlands video for you, but a Rising Star video. This is another play to earn game that's on the Hive blockchain, same as Splinterlands. And it's actually a game you can get into for free and start actually earning currency as well. Uh, that's what I've done for four days so far. Hi, Milo. Uh, so you can see here, I'm already at level 10. Uh, but but once I got like two days in, I've kind of hit a roadblock as far as advancing. Um, so I've unlocked a few different tasks here so far, uh, as high as busking with a license. However, you can see this requires 100 fans, and then it takes 65% of my energy. Well, if I have 100 fans, I don't have the energy to do it. If I have the energy to do it, I don't have the fans, because the only fans I have are drunk fans, and drunk fans sober up after 24 hours, and you lose them, and they forget about you, and... It's like you never existed to them. It's sad, really. Uh, but uh, my goal of this video is not to explain the game fully to you. Maybe I will to an extent. We'll see. Uh, but actually, I'm going to buy my first packs. Uh, so again, I started playing this, I think, four days ago. So we'll say like 100 hours ago, we'll go with. And again, at level 10, so far I've earned 3,736 star bits. And, and right now, 1,000 star bits is like 22 cents, I want to say. Uh, so, uh, I've earned, what, 75, 80 cents worth in four days while putting no money in. Uh, this is a game that overall it seems as you level up, your earnings and such can also grow exponentially. Uh, for instance, Illegal Buskin here, I get between one and nine star bits while I have very, very few fans. Uh, other people that have been playing this for a while and have, you know, thousands or tens of thousands of fans, I think they get like a thousand or more star bits for doing this five minute task. So. Just give an idea there where you can actually start earning like some actual, you know, I don't know if you could call it serious, but s substantial enough for, you know, the time and effort that it should potentially require to get to those points. So, uh, it's basically an idle clicker, uh, for lack of better terms. Uh, there's more to it that I haven't unlocked yet, so it's hard for me to speak a lot about it. Uh, the main thing I do know, though, just FYI, is that once you get, I think it's to level 15... Uh, or you have a thousand or more fans or something like that, uh, then ego becomes a thing. And the main thing about ego is that your ego goes up if you have a lot of fans compared to your skill. So it sounds like a good strategy is to make sure that as your fans go up, your skill is going up by at least as much, if not more. So like, just the, this is you get at the start of the game, 10 fans, one skill. So if I end up with, you know, 1500 fans, I'm going to, probably want at least that much skill. I'm not sure the ratios are and stuff because I'm not to that level yet, so I haven't fully researched it yet. But um, I will also mention, uh, if you want to get into this game, I'll have my referral link down below in the description. Uh, full disclosure, if you use my referral link, uh, every mission you do, I get one star bit, I think. Uh, and I used the referral link of After Sound Gaming. Been seeing some of his videos. He does Splinterlands content and now some Rising Star as well. Uh, so if you want to watch his videos as well, use his referral link instead. Totally fine by me. Uh, no worries either way. Uh, just, you know, use someone's for a link if you're coming into it from somebody else because you might as well. Uh, but anyways, I think that's all I'm going to say about the actual game at this point. If you want me to try to explain other things, uh, if you have interest, let me know. Uh, but if I didn't actually stay yet, the main point of this video is that I'm going to grab 12 packs. Uh, I actually got 100,000 star bits via the Hive engine. Last night, I put in a bid of however many zeros, 215. So it ended up being 21.5 hive for 100,000 star bits. So uh, the 12 packs are cost me what, like low 20s, like 20, $25 range, depending on what the value of hive is at that given time. Hive is just a little over a dollar right now, last I looked at least. So just give an idea there. Uh, I'll show you you can buy the 12 packs for 40 hive. You get a Chopin card with it that's limited to 500 copies, I think. Uh, it doesn't look like it's a great card game-wise as far as like number of fans and skill and stuff it gives you. Uh, the card itself goes for I think like 8 to 10 hive from Rossi, at least that's the list price that I saw when I looked. Uh, so basically, at current market conditions, uh, it's cheaper to buy 12 packs for 100,000 star bits, buying the star bits for hive, and then if you want to buy the card separately you can, and you should be paying less than 40 hive in the end. Uh, if you do the wax option down here, 12 packs, it's whatever wax is at, it comes out to be $30 equivalent, I believe it is. So, 
Uh, best I can tell, the cheapest option, oh Milo, uh, is to go with the uh, buy via star bits. And once you make up higher from the game and you earn enough star bits, then you know it just becomes like self-funding essentially. So I'm hoping these 12 packs give me a good jump start. We'll see if I decide to get more uh, a little bit later or not, as far as like buying uh, with Hive and stuff, or if I'm just gonna have it be self-funding thereafter. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and click the buy 12 packs. Pile comes up here. You can't see it on uh, the screen you've got there. Uh, but just says buy 12 packs for 1,000 star bits. So I'll click that. And then my uh, Hive keychain pops up to confirm the transaction. And I'm saying OK. Do, 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 do. Let's see. So those are still there. Let's see. Transaction has been broadcast successfully. Tokens must be on a Hive engine. They are. Click here before purchase. Whoop. Well, Let's see. Do, 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 do. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing completely yet. <laughs> uh, following cards are available. Da, da, da. Lens, I just refresh this page. Anything? Cards are available. Okay, star bits aren't there now. So, do, do, do. Where do I go? Cards by packs. Your collection. Well, I'm such a genius, aren't I? <laughs> oh, there's an open button. Let's try that. <laughs> Was that there before? All right, we figured it out. We got there. We got there. So every pack has three cards, and every pack will have at least one card that's a rare or better, which I think always appears in the left slot. Not that it matters too much, but you can see our first rare is Rosetta. 100 fans, 75 skill, 4 luck. Two I am. I forget I am is off is off hand. Luck. I think. I think. If you're playing this game longer term than me, obviously, uh, you know what? luck better than me. I think luck. The higher it is, the more star bits you get per uh, mission. Because like each mission has a range. So I thinking, guessing, assuming that your higher luck is, the higher to the high side of the range you're more likely to get. I'm guessing. I could be very wrong. Please correct if I'm wrong or confirm if I'm right. Either way. And then we've got a I-50 star 30. So what is this, 30 star? I don't know. Um, so a couple of luck. Rares are the main things, so, you know. I think I clicked. I think. Bloop. Hello. Let's see. I think, okay, there it goes. So it's just a little bit slow. A little bit slow. So we got Dun Dun. 50 luck. This one will leave you hanging. Dun Dun Dun. Mid at range, Sax. And Tiana. 10 fans, no skill, no luck, no I am. Okay. So let's keep on going. Open new pack. What are you looking at, Milo? Is there a spider or something? I don't see anything. Don't, don't mind him. Let's see. So, rare Leon, 150 fans, 75 skill, another Tiana, and a Jared. No fans, 20 skill, no luck, 1 IM. And we'll obviously uh, check what our stats look like after this pack of Win to see if our uh, fans and skill are way out of whack. Won't matter just yet, because I'm only at level 10, not level 15 yet, but we shall see. And FYI, there are rares higher than rare as well. Uh, it goes as high as legendary. I'm not sure what like, the pull rates are. But it sounds like the jerseys are very hard to pull. Uh, so we got Luthien, 125 fans, 75 skill, 3 luck, 2 IM. Uh, Head Mike and RS Micro Synth, 10 luck on that one. So it seems a lot of our commons are giving us only luck, which luck is fine, luck is fine. We got Frederico, 100 fans, 100 skill, perfect ratio, I think, unless you need to have more skill than fans. I'm not positive offhand. We've got a Trudy, 10 fans and just one skill, and another Jared with that 20 skill, no fans, which will uh, help with our balancing, I would say. <clears throat> I wish it would like be more obvious when I clicked that it like worked, but not that big a deal. So we got Charmin, 125 fans, 75 skill, three luck and two IM, and our luck, and Clinton, 10 fans, one skill, 
and some zeros. I'm pretty sure within the packs, ooh, we got ourselves an epic. The purple one. Purple rain. Uh, I don't care where we go, just take me with you. 150 luck for our epic, the purple one. And we got rare Silent X, 125 fans to have skill. I think those are the same stats as the different one we just got a second ago as well. I think. I think. Uh, what was I trying to say? I'm not sure. Lost train of thought. <laughs> Cause, uh, and that epic obviously was not in the leftmost slot either, so uh, pay attention to all the slots. Okay, we got a Rachel, 125 fans, 150 skill, 4 luck, 2 IM. Another star 30, and another Trudy. Oh yeah, pizza. Uh, I would love to get some cold pizza slices in our pizza boxes, I believe. Ooh, Juliet. I didn't realize you get that in packs, because I think there's a event going on for that right now that you can do to try to get the card. So, I it's a seasonal. I'm not sure like how that ranks rarity wise like value wise compared to like rares epic etc but uh i'm sure it's better than a common so that is pretty nifty 114 fans and skill now i assume them with 14 because valentine's day is on the 14th uh now i know the creator is based in the uk i forget if uk is one of the places where like i think that's where like the addresses are backwards so it'd be the 14th day of february um it's whereas here in america we say like, our dates, it's 2 slash 14, February 14th. So, basically, I was surprised it's 114, not 214, but since our dates are backwards, that would matter less anyway, but I digress. And we got, we had Rachel last pack, didn't we? Or did I just talk about Juliet so long that it was sitting there for so long I thought I already talked about it? I don't know. And uh, Michelle, 10 fans, no skill. Uh, but yeah, pizza. If you use pizza, it restores your um, energy to full. And my understanding, again, from watching After Sound uh, Gaming, his video today, actually, I think it was, uh, he specified about pizza slices, cold pizza, that if you use that, they're not one-time use. You can use them every 24 hours. So he had four of them, but he said he doesn't always use them all each day now. Uh, but I know that there's also pizza boxes, because when you do your missions, you will sometimes find pizza. If you don't have a pizza box, it's just used right away, and you go 100%. But say you do a mission that uses 10% of your energy at 100%, you go to 90. If you find pizza going from 90 to 100, not great. But if you have a pizza box, the pizza slice goes to the pizza box first so it's empty, and you can use it when you want to. So once you get down to, you know, 0 to 20%, say. So uh, basically, if you have pizza in your pizza boxes, uh, you will probably be able to do a lot more missions per day on average and, you know, time things to your schedule and to your liking. So... Definitely the things I want to get. If I don't get any of these packs, I may have to may consider getting a pizza box and or a pizza slice or two with Hive or Starbits or whatever it is I've got that I can get them with. Because uh, that will really help me progress, I feel. Uh, so we got Groovy, 125, 75, 3 and 2. Stewie, 5 fans, 10 skill. And that's at least our third or fourth star of 30, I believe. I feel like we've got like maybe two or three packs left. I haven't been counting, but I think we're, I think we're nearing the end. We're definitely over halfway. I know that much. Dun, 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 a rare, common, common. Star Child, 150 fans in skill, 5 luck, 2 IM. Trudy and a head mic with 5 luck. Oh, that, that was our last pack because there's no more uh, open next here. <laughs> okay, so that was our last pack, last chance for glory. So we end up with one epic, one seasonal, uh, 12 rares, and then it'd be, what, 22 commons? I believe. So let's see, let's just click home, start a mission. <clears throat> so, do I have to like stake the cards or something? Because it doesn't have my fans or anything here currently. Let me uh, re refresh, no? Hmm. Now, hopefully I'll figure out before I upload this video, but uh, let me know what I need to do, cards, record staking, musicians add your music, your collection. Da, 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 da. We're learning. Please ensure you set your browser to allow pop-ups so your cards can be updated from the blockchain. If your cards are updated for some reason, then click here instead. If you see cards below, but they are not included in your stats, then make sure you have pop-ups enabled. Okay. Ah. 
always allow pop-ups from Rising Star game. That should do it. Let me just uh, refresh. I don't know if I need to right now, but we're going to do it anyway because because I already clicked. So, you know, it's, it's happening. Okay, there's a pop-up now that said updating cards. That has now gone away. So, yeah, here you can see some of our cards. Bum, bum, bum. And you can see, did I get two Rachels? So, yeah, you can see the card ID and stuff. You can click on market. So, you can see here that the uh, Rachel 13,000. So yeah, you can list in star bits or swap pies, maybe other things too. So uh, Rachel is, we'll call it four swap pies or about 13,000 star bits. So not too shabby. Let's see where our epic and seasonal are. I'm curious what those are. Just get an idea of like what our ROI or whatever is here. So Juliet, oh man. Okay, well that's a win. <laughs> De Whoa. There's only 229 Juliet's issued so far. Now it says the supply is basically unlimited, but it's a limited time event that goes through the 24th, I think. We'll look in a sec. But um, I I, th I, th I think we won, guys. I think we won. <laughs> so again, not fantastic stats, but I do know for like for in-game rankings, uh, one of the I think the the top top thing that the top factor for your rating or ranking in game is how many different unique cards you own. So, even if Juliet had zeros for all stats, the fact there's only 229 issue right now means that at most 229 different people so far could have the card. And since unique cards matter, it doesn't matter how good the card itself is, there'll be some level of demand for that reason alone. So, as you can see here, cheapest in Swap Hive is. 33 and the cheapest in star bits is 39,000 so that's pretty good again the packs cost is a hundred thousand uh, star bits which I got for 21.5 hive so if I could sell her for 33 hive well I already I had at that point so very interesting and then let's see if we can find our epic uh, or the purple one I think it was called oh so click to instruments, the purple one. So that looks to be about 25,000 star bits or 14 swap wax are the cheapest. Only 293 issued with a supply of 300. So it's almost out of print. So we got one of the last 10. We got the what, seventh or, let's see, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, mm -hmm. 93. So we got the what, eighth to last? I don't know, whatever. Close enough, but yeah. I, again, I don't know about pull rates for things that are better than rare, uh, epic, seasonal, legendary. I know legendaries are super hard to get. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Let's go back to buy packs here on more show. So like, here's a bunch of legendaries on the top row up through here. We got vehicles and stuff. I think all these E's are just epics then. So let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Where is even? There's the purple one. So there's a lot of epics that are in there and stuff too, but so yeah, Juliet is on the list. There's the seasonal. Like it doesn't say like I said, pull rates or anything like that, but so there's actually not that many different commons from what I can see. I don't think we had any Angie. I don't think we had Bo, Firefly. I think we had Stewie. I don't think we got Faye or Claudio. There's still a decent number of commons we didn't get as well. But just like seeing the value of some of the ones I pulled uh, makes me more inclined to just want to buy more packs too. Because like, it'll help me advance faster. And if I end up with some duplicates of some decent stuff that I can sell and like try to get the swap hive I invested back essentially while progressing. I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys want to see more content about this, let me know if you want me to do some updates. Um, I might look into doing like the blog posts or whatever and stuff too on Peaked. Um, I haven't done that before for anything, but I'm going to look into that and see. Maybe I'll post like daily or weekly updates since I'm, like I said, I'm like 100 hours in. Uh, just, it seems like they're kind of a, I don't know about an explosion, but I feel like their player base is ramping up as of late. Uh, I could be very wrong, but uh, this could be a good time to, you know, put out some of your content for that just because more people are probably looking for it. I'm looking for it too, so uh, yeah. I don't know what to say here, so I think I'll just kind of end it here. Again, I am Jeff Hubbins Cards. Please subscribe and rock smash like button. 
And let me know if you're playing. Use my referral link down below if you're not already. And uh, let me know what you want to see next. And uh, I'll see you next time, whenever and wherever that may be. Bye, guys.